Shh. I just hit record. <laughs> My name is Marsha and I am refreshed. As you can see, I have my sleep apnea stuff. Um, so yeah, I've been using this for the last probably a little week, week or so. And my, it is the first time in maybe 15 years or so that I have actually slept through the entire night. I have not gotten up. Well, there's one night that I got up to go to the restroom and that's because I did not go before I got in bed. Um, other than that, I have not uh, gotten up to go to the bathroom or anything one time since I've got this. And yes, my energy, like you can definitely see the difference in my energy levels and everything like that. So that's one thing. <coughs> um, what we are going to be talking about today, this is my um, last of my nutritionist um, appointment. So this is part three of three. And this I feel like is the most important part for people to hear because me, the nutritionist and I actually go in depth in some of the foods I've eaten over the, uh, the course of a month, the entire month of August. Um, and also if you click right here um, or in the description below, you'll be able to download a PDF copy of my entire food log. So if you want to see everything I've eaten and everything, um, feel free to check that out. And um, so yeah, let's get into the conversation. I do see some days that are significantly lower right. than other days. Mm -hmm. um, intentional or just? Well, this last one was intentional because that was right after a, my, a binge on croissants. Okay. Some of the, um, this one, I. I'd have to look at the day before. Normally it's because of something that I did the day before, some guilty thing that I was like, okay. but for the most part I try to, I try to, I'm trying to be in the 13 to 1500 calorie range. Okay, I love that. I don't love when people start going under a thousand and that's why those yeah. definitely stood out to me. Yeah. So some things that I'm looking for from blood sugar perspective here as I look through these is protein and carbohydrate balance. Mm -hmm. So every time we are eating, we should be eating some carbohydrate to fuel the brain and keep the energy levels going, keep the liver quiet, and protein. Mm -hmm. Protein is good for satiety, slowing down digestion, so that when you do have carbohydrate there, um, it gives your body adequate time to handle it instead of letting it enter the bloodstream very rapidly. Okay. Knowing how, as I'm going through this, how do you feel like you're doing in terms of balancing meals I and snacks? I feel like I'm doing pretty, pretty good with it. Okay. Um, you know, I try to make sure that if I'm going to eat a piece of fruit that I have something with protein. So I, I know that you have to have certain balances to make sure that your blood sugar doesn't mm -hmm. spike and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But you are absolutely right in terms of, you know, trying to get some protein in there for fullness and keeping that blood sugar from crashing. Mm -hmm. So good, you're ahead of the game. <laughs> is this a smoothie? Um, so it is, it is a smoothie, but I make it thicker so that I eat it. So the nuts I put on top of... Um, so that I can have some crunch. So this one may not have, I don't know, do you think there's a protein source there? Um, probably just in the nuts. This, so these nuts are um, almonds, cashews, um, some pistachios, um, pepitas, and sunflower seeds. Okay. So. Okay. Is it hold you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the only thing I would say is Simple sugars, like using juice as the liquid mm -hmm. it can definitely enter your bloodstream <laughs> faster. So when I when I um, so this is a a cup of orange juice, but I only use a quarter cup. Okay. But then I'm like, if I'm gonna pour any orange juice, I'm just gonna drink the rest of it. <laughs> so you'll notice that those the orange juice, and every once in a while I'll have um, dark chocolate almond milk. That's the only thing I've drank in the past month and a half that has that has any calories in it otherwise okay. I've been drinking water okay cool so before that were you drinking more um I used to drink a ton of soda so orange soda um okay. caffeine free orange soda or like um sprite or whatever stuff like that so I've been caffeine free for probably seven years okay um but I was drinking a lot of pop okay so for sure before I started this whole journey I was drinking a lot of pop so that can definitely, just that change right there, 
impact that A1C dramatically. So I think that's super cool. Cool. Okay. With something like a stir fry, mm -hmm. um, what else would be in there? So that date was August second um, or third. Um, mm -hmm. If if it just says chicken stir fry, that's probably because we went out to eat. What day of the week is that actually? August third was. Saturday, yeah, that was so we went out to eat okay. that day. Okay. <laughs> so the, I had half of it that day, and probably the rest of it. Oh no, lunch and then dinner. Okay. So the other thing um, that I said we would touch on was the cholesterol factor, and so I'm seeing um, a lot of good vegetables in mm -hmm. here. Um, vegetables and then fruits with skins on them are good fiber sources. So you're staying away from um, a lot of grains, which could potentially limit your fiber intake. But if you're doing a lot of vegetables, fruits with skins, um, that fiber helps kind of trap cholesterol in the bowel and send it on its way out the back, so to say, okay. instead of letting it be recycled in the bloodstream. Gotcha. And so sometimes people find that um, they're not eating a lot of high fat foods like butters, um, ice cream, you know, baked goods, um, high fat meats like sausages, bacon, hot dogs. You, maybe you were, so, but in the instance that you weren't, um, your body just might be making more cholesterol. The fiber helps either way, whether it's from the food that you're eating or if you're genetically predispositioned to make cholesterol, extra fiber helps trap it and send it on. Its okay, way. good. But so far it looked like, I mean, I saw chicken, I'm seeing pork cutlets. Um, how do you think like the protein meat sources that you um, are choosing are in terms of? Most, no, sometimes I'll go to Tops and I'll get stuff there, but for the most part we try to go to like um, Black Angus Meats um, to an actual butcher to get meats and stuff like that. Okay. Um, same with the, the vegetables. Sometimes we'll go to BJ's because I can get, you know, a big bag of, of broccoli crowns for a few dollars. Mm -hmm. um, but we also go to, um, like, this Saturday we went to the North Tonawanda Farmer's Market. Um, and I only shop from the people that are actual, our local farms. Because I know there's a lot of people that will buy bulk uh, foods. that They even leave the stickers on them. So it's like... I know that you didn't grow this yourself because it doesn't grow with a sticker on it. It's very <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> good, good. So you're getting fresh stuff as much as possible. Mm -hmm. You know, talking to the butcher I think is helpful. Anytime that you can talk to somebody that knows about what they're selling you, right. I think is key. Um, but meats that are um, cut from far away from the bone, loin cuts tend to be leaner, like ribs and things that are near a bone tend to be higher in saturated fat, uh, the stuff that can raise cholesterol. The, those are obviously the ones that taste better though. Yes, marbling, other times that there's gonna be flavor in there. Yeah. So something else as I was looking through here, and it kind of fits in with what you're saying there is, um, when we are making lifestyle and diet changes, sometimes we feel the need to restrict and never have those things, and can that set us up for a episode of binging? Mm -hmm. And so like, I just happened to see like a mint chip bar or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm in the mindset that having some periodically can help prevent some of those feelings yeah. of deprivation right. and leading into like binge eating. Yeah. How have you been treating your, your changes in that sense? So from that sense, um, my girlfriend at one point, she's like, I just want some ice cream. And I was like, no, I'm not letting that come in the house. Um, so we ended up, we went to um, Whole Foods okay. and um, I happened to find in their one aisle, they've got three twins ice cream, but then they also have a uh, a non-dairy version, okay. which is called um, Slim Twins, okay. and you'll see that on there too. That um, oh yeah, that might have been mint chip ice cream. Yeah, oh Slim Twin. Yeah, yeah. Okay, mint chip. So it, it, that's uh, that's one of the um, that's that ice cream, and it's like I think the the entire pint is 210 calories, and at that time only half of that pint filled me, and it it satisfied that need for ice cream. Um, and then we, they also have like those icy things, icy yeah, things, popsicles, yeah. yeah. So they also have some of those okay. that are made from actual fruits. Oh, um, okay. So we we got some of those too. So those types of things, I like. I don't feel like I'm missing out on snacks other than cake. Like I love cake, and I really want some cake. <laughs> but I I know that it's not worth it. Okay. Like I'd rather I'd rather have some of that ice cream or whatever as okay. opposed to. I, the cake because I know I'm like I would 
I would eat a whole cake if I if somebody set one down. <laughs> and so that's the other part. You know, yeah. some people tell me they're like, I have these are foods that I cannot eat or keep in the house because I cannot control portion of them. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's a different scenario. If you know there's specific foods that you struggle with eating um, reasonable portions of them, you know that may be a different. But yeah. in general, if you're having something that's satisfying, you know, a sweet tooth a little bit, but is a healthier choice. Mm -hmm. um, I just wanted you to know my perspective is not avoiding everything. Right. Um, but finding that happy medium where you can feel like you're getting something yeah. you want, but in reasonable portion. You'll you'll see as you move forward into more days. There's um, some days that that I have. Um, well, actually, that was one right there. This bar right here. So this protein yep. bar. Mm -hmm. So that's the um, RX bar. Okay. Which are the ones that are um, it's nuts, um, egg whites, and dates mm -hmm. essentially is what's in them, and then whatever flavoring they put in. So that one has hazelnuts and um, ch uh, cocoa powder okay yeah, so that it's all organic minimal, yeah. stuff so they're chewy yeah they're super chewy <laughs> <laughs> some people don't like the texture of them but i i the, the texture yeah, doesn't bother me at all but that also um satisfies that hunger for something sweet yeah so and with the protein component of it, it helps fill you up so right. i think that's sometimes what's missing from the sweets mm -hmm. um is protein so you tend to eat more because you're not really getting full right so this might be the first time I've seen just a, a fruit alone but mm -hmm. if you're saying you're in general thinking that I need to have some protein when I have fruit yeah um, but with this this might be another one. banana honey crisp is that a honey crisp apple yeah okay so that might be I don't know just and it might be hard to think back to this is like over a month ago if we're getting protein in there but it could be I think I was I think that was um, I was in the car a lot that day and that was all I had in okay, the car, okay. but that's that stopped me from stopping at a grocery store and yeah. buying croissants or <laughs> whatever other crap. I'd be like, here, I'm just gonna buy this. <laughs> perfect, perfect. But there's no way anyone could look at you and the information that we can see on you and say you're doing anything bad. You're doing really, really well. Thank you. So. <laughs> The goal here is really just to support see, you, that, give you that's a little. Where, <laughs> that's where I ate a half a pizza. Okay. <laughs> and so, let's see. Like that was a day you had grapes, egg, chicken scrambled, broccoli florets, like a uh, omelet kind of thing. Yeah. And then lunch was just a protein bar. Yeah. And then you know, w like that's pretty minimal calories if we do two, four, six, maybe seven hundred calories. Of uh, course of the course of the day yeah was that a day again that we hadn't eaten for seven hours while being up and I think awake, I know? think that one my girlfriend actually she actually said to me I really want pizza <laughs> and that day um, I think was a day that I had a whole ton of calorie burn okay so that was actually a decision that we were like she said can we have this and I'm like well based on my calorie burn yeah so um, I had over 5,000 steps already okay. at that point, and my calorie burn on that day was over 3,000 calories. Okay. So I'm like, that was that one I think was a conscious decision. I didn't plan on eating half of the pizza when we ordered it, though, but mm -hmm. when it came in, I'm like, this is so good that I just ate until okay. I was full. Okay. So the, it was a conscious decision to buy the pizza, the overeating of it. I was like, I this is so good. and. I was like, so we're right, reflecting I can do back this. on it. Like, we can make those conscious decisions and say, you know what, I'm up in terms of my calorie burn. I really want to have pizza. What could be a different, you know, path next time um, to kind of keep you from if I you planned? yeah. It, so, because I've thought about this too. I'm like, so rather than eating half the pizza, if I had um, eaten a salad before the pizza was delivered, Perfect. that could have been something that would have prevented me from eating a half of the pizza. Love it. So, yeah. Love it. And that's what I like to see people do is think of a positive, what can I do next time versus mm -hmm. like feeling guilty that this is what I ate or right. my calories. Like, what can I do differently? I'm not going to never have pizza again. Right. How do I, <laughs> you know, make a different... And you'll see there's, there's, there are other days, like if um, something at work, if we've had a training event or we're at work or whatever, um, and the sponsor might bring in pizza or whatever, mm -hmm. I do try to eat a salad and I, I will still eat that pizza because it's not... I, I know in a realistic world, I'm not going to be able to avo avoid that stuff 24-7, like for the rest of my life. It's just not going to happen. Perfect. Um, so trying mm -hmm. to be smart about the way I do it. Love is, it. Thank you. <laughs> I think that's incredible because, you know, changing food and lifestyle is not just changing the food. It's changing our mentality right. and how we react in situations. So I'm loving what I'm hearing. Thank you. <laughs> 
And do you feel like the changes that you've been implementing are maintainable? Do you feel like anything? I do. Too... I, like I, I don't feel other than the breads because I know that's an addiction of mine. Um, I don't really feel like I'm missing out on anything because the, I mean, the foods that I'm eating, they're they're so good anyway that not just from a good for you, but they taste really good. Mm -hmm. So I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything other than my cakes and bread. <laughs> Have you thought about a plan for those? Is it something that you feel like you will just avoid or? I, right, I know for right now I need to just avoid them. Okay. Because if, if they're in the house, I'm the kind of person that I will sit down and I'll eat an entire loaf of bread. Okay. So like, okay. I can't keep bread in my house, <laughs> and I know that about myself. Okay. Even though my girlfriend's like, you know, I really like a sandwich. I'm like, okay, you can go to Subway or whatever and get your sandwich, and I will yeah. eat this. <laughs> okay. And hopefully she's supportive of that. Oh, yeah, like, recognizing definitely. Recognizing there are certain foods that just are very mm -hmm. challenging. She doesn't understand. Like, for her, her addiction is sugar. Like, she, she would rather have, like, a whole container of circus peanuts or, um, in fact, one of the days that she was, she said to me, I just want some sugar. So I was like, all right, I'll get you a small thing of circus peanuts. Those are things that I won't eat. I don't, I hate circus peanuts. To me, it's like eating cardboard. Um, but she's got that kind of sugar addiction. So, okay, I'll let her have the sugar. But I, if I buy something and bring it into the house, I'm going to make sure it's something sugar-wise that I won't eat. Because okay. if I'd gotten the sweetest fish, I would have eaten those. Okay. Um, stuff like that. So I, when I went to the grocery store, I bought her the circus peanuts. And I didn't tell her at the time that I actually did buy, that was another day that I bought a bunch of croissants and I ate the whole thing. Okay. So I ate the whole thing before I even got back home because okay. <laughs> I didn't want her to know. But then a couple days later I told her about it. I'm like, just so you know, when I go to the grocery store and I buy something for you, it tempts me to buy something for myself. Okay. So <laughs> we've had that conversation. Good. She understands that. Good. But she still doesn't understand the, the, the bread and that type Versus of carb like addiction she, to me. Yeah. yeah. Good. I think that's great that you, you know, maybe you couldn't do it immediately, tell her what happened, but that you can address it and say, hey, this was a challenge for me. And every time I go there and do this, it's a challenge for me. Mm -hmm. Let's, how do we yeah. get around it? Well, and it, I did, at, at first I was like, it took me a, a day or two to actually put it into the um, Fitbit food app. I'm like, if I'm going to be honest with myself, I have to document everything. Beautiful. <laughs> and then it, that's when I was like, I just, we need to talk about this. So good. Yeah. Kudos to you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so I, I happened to be on that. Well, I don't know if it was another day, but there's mm -hmm. one day with the croissants. Yep. And looking back at lunch, it was the freezer pops, um, those flavored ones. So, <laughs> I, yeah, you're right. So you're blood right. sugar spike essentially, and then crash, and then setting yourself up for feeling hungry. Yeah. And then if you were in that temptation or stressful moment, it it can all yeah. kind of collapse. So. I'm really, really glad that you brought this and that you were, you know, sharing so much about how you've been handling things. But um, I hope that kind of draws attention to that. That, that does. That, that makes a, a lot of sense because I didn't really go back and look at things because I, I, I knew that we'd be reviewing mm -hmm. what yeah. I ate here. Yeah. You know, that was kind of my plan. Perfect. I'm like, I know she's going to want to review what I eat anyway, so if, I'm just going to bring these reports <laughs> so she can look at it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> So that was a higher calorie day, and then this was a little, let's see what was. This one ended up being 2,000, but was this a, like a higher burn day? Like that was like 2,000 calories? I think it was, 2068 was the 18th. The 18th. No, well I, I only had, on the 18th I had um, a 2,200 calorie burn. How many calories did I eat that day? 2068. I mean, it all looks like really healthy food. I was just curious to see um, because it was. Oh, you know what? My it might have been that might have been when I had. Does that have tuna fish on? Mm -hmm. That was so that night. Um, the I had a this I ate at like midnight. Okay. Because it was I was up late and I was that was the night I was like I am starving. I just need to eat something. But because okay. I was at home. I'm like, what can I do that's going to satiate my hunger or my feelings of hunger right yeah. now? So that's what I ate. I made this tuna salad. I love it. Like, that was awesome. And it's interesting, or at least to me, that it was a day that you seemed to have, have had balanced meals throughout the day. So mm -hmm. you may have had more mental control to say, you know what, I can take the time and make a tuna salad versus yeah. 
run out and grab something. Yeah, and that makes so, sense. Now that you pointed out the, the croissants was after I hadn't yeah. eaten a lot, and that day was, but, yeah, that makes total sense. And, like, I don't <laughs> think that the calories are, like, unreasonable either. So, I mean, I, I just thought it was interesting that it, they were different than, mm -hmm. but I'm, you have so much good data <laughs> to go off of. <laughs> But then the next day was like half of that. Do you felt? Did you feel like? I think that because I ate at midnight, I was like, okay, I don't want to like, eat too much today. Okay. So I think that's probably what I was thinking in my in okay. my head. All right. Well, I think you have covered most of the bases in terms of your looking at food, your tracking. I think is huge. Um, accountability to yourself and mm -hmm. to if you feel like it's helpful to meet again, um, that helps there too. You um, are accountable to you too, <laughs> too. So that's another level. Um, you've got your Fitbit, but I really do feel like uh, the food choices that you're making in general are very healthy and balanced meals, so I think you're rocking. My encouragement would be to maybe take that level three in a little earlier and then okay. get back into your breakfast um, routine so you're not going too long without eating, just okay. to kind of keep that liver cool. But again, so most people, you know, whenever they ask for ideal body weight, one, I don't love doing it because like, yeah. it really is just a ratio of your height to um, mass, and it doesn't take into account muscle structure right. and things like that but most people are like I was never even that in, in high school yeah so I wouldn't feel good like that I hear it all so I think your goal of you know your tiered structure phenomenal um, there's no need I don't think to get to a, a calculation right um, I think the most important is how you're feeling energy wise and are you fueling your body properly right and that, that's what I I fully believe that as well and that's that's why I'm, I'm focusing on knowing all my numbers to begin with so I know what I can do to move forward. So, But it was super helpful to have you go through this and say, well, it seems like when I've had those binges, <laughs> this is what's happened yeah. the day before or earlier yeah. that day. So, yeah, that's that's really cool. Yeah. Super helpful. <laughs> good, good. I'm glad it was helpful. But, I mean, you were doing some phenomenal stuff. So, um, awesome, awesome stuff. Thank you. Um, so, so what do you think? Um, I'm very impressed with all the health tips that you've been following. I know one that I love is to drink a nice big tall glass of water before every meal. I eat a little bit less that way. I, I try to do that, um, and I hate that word try. Like I, I try to get, my intent is to get that word out of my vocabulary, because <laughs> there is no try. You would like Dr. Harkin do or do that not. He, that's what he was like, is that like a Star Wars thing? Yeah. I like Yoda says that. Um, so, so yeah, when I'm cooking, while I'm cooking, I try to drink a whole bottle of water. So that's um, good. That's cool. Yeah. But I, I'm very impressed how motivated you are. Thank and you. Active, proactive you've been about all this. Just don't punish yourself. Whatever yeah. you do, don't punish yourself. <laughs> don't deprive yourself of your favorite foods, and um, don't starve yourself either. Like I said, don't punish yourself. Yeah. Because you're doing such great things. You know, just go on the accomplishments. Thank you. Awesome. I mean, like I said, if there's anything we can do to support you, we're here. Okay. Thank but you. But you're doing some really. Incredible stuff. So Thank keep you. it going. I appreciate it. You're very welcome. All right. <laughs> <laughs> break that glass ceiling. Yes, for sure. <laughs> Speaking of breaking that glass ceiling, do you know anybody looking to buy or sell real uh, estate? <laughs> I am steady right now, but what is the, who do you work for? Uh, well, my, so my broker is Keller Williams. Okay. Um, and my, I'm on the Myriad team. So Ellen Leaders, she's been in real estate for almost 20 years now. Uh, but I'm a buyer specialist, so I work with buyers. She works with the sellers, and oh, that's cool. um, yeah. So. Here, let me give you. Oh a yeah, business I was card. like, I was hoping you had something. I was like, <laughs> of course. I don't go anywhere without a business card. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Nice. Thank you very thank you. much. You're very welcome. It was a pleasure to meet you, and thank I, you. like I said, I appreciate all the feedback. I think yeah. it's super, super helpful, and Good. you definitely called out things that I hadn't really noticed myself so Good. thank you you're very, you're very I appreciate welcome. it thank you nice to meet you okay so that was the conversation that I had with the nutritionist and as you can see she really was able to point out um, certain things in the course of that month um, of all the food that I've been eating that may have led to some of my binges um, she pointed out some things that might help me in the future, which I have um, made some of those changes, such as taking my levothyroxine earlier in the day so I can eat breakfast earlier, um, stuff like that. So it's it's been really helpful. And having her um, inspect everything and point out things that are really, really <clears throat> important to the process is has been amazing. Um, and it's, it really gave me clarity so that I can 
um, help to make those the necessary changes to improve on that myself as well. So moving forward, some of the things I'm going to be doing is I'll, I'll have some vlog type videos um, and also I'll be doing some cooking videos. One of the things I love doing is cooking. Um, I'm also going to maybe explain the process of how I modify some recipes to suit our uh, dietary needs. If there's anything in particular that you guys would like to see, uh, please make sure you comment below. Let me know what you have questions on, um, what I can show you. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so that way you get notifications when I upload new videos. If you want to find me on any form of social media, I'm on the same screen name. I am Marsha K. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. What are you doing? Really? Lily. She's standing on my arm. You're very cute.